I hate to break it to you, but you can't empty trash in Final Cut Pro. You just can't. But don't worry, I'll show you how to trash items like clips, projects, events, libraries, right in Final Cut. And be sure to watch the end of the video to see how to shrink your library size. Okay, in Final Cut Pro, you can select clips and delete them. So I have some videos in here. I can select one, or I can hold down Shift and click on another one, it will select all of them in between, or I can select one clip and hold down Command and click on other clips and I can select a different variety of them. And then I can go up to file and select move to trash or right click on it and select move to trash or press command delete to move them to trash. And you'll notice they're gone out of my event and no longer there. You can also delete a project in Final Cut Pro. I'll select my project and then just like before I can go to file, select move to trash or right click on it and select move to trash or press command delete to delete or move my project to trash. You get this message sometimes. This is just saying that it's moving some media to the trash. In other words, clips like we were deleting before. I say, that's fine. I'll press okay. And it deletes the project. You can also delete an event. So select it, go up to file, select move event to trash, right click on it, select move event to trash, or with it selected, press command delete and it will say, are you sure you want to delete this event? This is a warning that all of the files, media, and projects in that event will be gone. Yeah, I wanna get rid of this event, no problem. I'll click continue. And it says, oh, I can't do that. A library must contain at least one event. So I'll press okay. And let's make a new event. I'll select my library, right click and select new event. We'll give this a name, new event. There we go. So now we have an event in here. We can select this one and press command delete and then click continue, and now that event is gone, deleted. All right, you can also delete a library, but you have to close it first or quit Final Cut Pro. So I'm gonna select my library, and then I'm gonna right click on it, and I'm gonna select Reveal in Finder. Now, Final Cut will open a Finder window with your library selected, go back to Final Cut Pro, and either close that library or quit Final Cut Pro completely. For this example, I'm just going to close my library. You can't delete an open library, so make sure to close it first. And go back to Finder, and now you can select your library and just press Command Delete to delete it in Finder, and it is gone. Now your library is not gone yet. I'm going to show you how to delete that in just a second. But I thought this might be a good time to ask you, am I doing a good job? Am I helping you out? If so, will you please give this video a thumbs up so I know? Thanks. In just a second, I'm going to show you how to shrink your library size, but first, let's empty the trash and delete these files forever. Open up Trash on your computer, and you'll see that library we deleted right there. I can select a file and right click on it, and I can select Delete Immediately, and it will say, are you sure you want to delete immediately? You can undo it. Yes, I'll say Delete. I can also click on Empty to empty my entire trash. I'm not ready to do that yet, so I'll press Cancel. I can also select a file and right click on it and select Put Back. Mac OS will move that file back to where I deleted it from. It will open a Finder window over here and select the video file. This is a great way to save something that you don't want deleted forever. I have something I wanna show you in that old library, so I'm gonna put that back for right now, and we'll come back to that in a second. So I can empty the trash by just pressing this button right here, or I can use the keyboard shortcut Shift Command Delete. And it'll say, are you sure you want to empty this? You can't undo it. Yes, I'm ready to empty the trash. I did it, I took out the trash. Okay, the trash is out, and now I wanna show you how to shrink your library size. Look at this library, it's 1.3 gigabytes. So let's op double click on that to open it up in Final Cut Pro, and then I'll select my library. And you can see over here in the inspector, if you don't see the inspector, click this button right here to open it up, and you'll see our size right there is also 1.3 gigabytes. We can shrink that down with our library selected, clicking on File, and delete generated library files. Select delete render files, select all, and let's delete our proxy and optimized media, and then I'll click okay. Final Cut will do its thing. It will find files to delete the render files and it will shrink our project size down. All right, now you can see our project went from 1.3 gigabytes to 264 megabytes, not bad. Now be careful with these tips. You might accidentally delete a project and if you ever do that, check out my seven tips on recovering a lost Final Cut Pro project.